I use football as kind of my cover for my life. And football was the most masculine thing I could do. So I decided to dedicate myself to football and I thought it'd be a great cover. So I, just, I did whatever I had to do to make it work. I was real happy when I got out to New England. You know, people are really only focused on winning. That, that really worked out for my situation, where I was able to just focus on football and they were gonna focus on football and not, you know, the rookie, why isn't he married? Why isn't he bringing a girl home when we all go out? <laughs> Anytime people were focused on something besides me, I was happy. That was a good part of being on a team too, is I had 50 whatever other guys kind of to, to hide behind. We, we spent a lot of time together in the locker room. You have a lot of downtime just hanging out. It's almost like a frat. Everyone, you know, you're together so much. When, when people would start talking about girls and all the straight talk, I pretty much just tried to avoid it. I didn't know what I was supposed to be attracted to on a girl. I mean, I, a lot of people don't understand the gay mind, but I didn't know what I was supposed to find attractive. I mean, that, that, Straight people may laugh at that, but I really didn't. Do you think the leadership on the Patriots team would have allowed you being gay to be a distraction? Oh no, no, I, I don't think so. They were too focused on the goal of winning and doing your job. I think most guys would have just been okay with it. One thing, I, you know, when I try to explain to guys what it is being gay and how it's not a choice, and I think if more people really understood that, people would be a lot more accepting. Did New England's focus on winning distract you from being gay? At night, it was always on my mind. It was always on my mind, because my biggest fear was getting caught. You know, it, I would train myself, you know, don't say this, say that, don't look here, look there. I just didn't think anyone would ever accept me. When you're going through it, when you're gay, you're in the closet, and these things are just always on your mind, I had a hard time ever finding positives and I didn't have anyone to talk to. I mean, I was definitely afraid to talk to. Even if I had someone to talk to, I don't think I would have. I, just, I, I got to the point where I just built it up to this giant thing that I never thought I would be able to conquer it. My whole plan was just to end my life after football. You know, I, I never planned on living, and when I was done with football, that was going to be it. I thought I couldn't ever be an out gay man. My last year in Kansas City, I was injured. I knew that was gonna be the end of my career because I had so many injuries. I had always planned when my career's over, that's it, I'm over. And I kinda had a meltdown. Um, started abusing drugs and it got really out of hand. How close did you come to killing yourself? I wrote a letter. I was close. I, if it wasn't for some good friends, a couple good dogs, yeah, I'd be gone. I'm just glad there were people that were looking out for me that pushed me in the right direction to actually get help. Our trainer, Dave Price in Kansas City, without knowing anything, he just said, hey, you know, you need to talk to someone. And I accepted it and I went and started talking to someone. She basically, in so many words, said, well, why don't you find out if you need to kill yourself? So drove back out to California, told family. That all the people I was most concerned about were fine. It was so much easier and better than I ever imagined. Do you think the NFL is ready for an openly gay player today? I, th I think teams are ready. Guys just have to understand he's gay. It doesn't mean he wants to date you. He just wants to be your teammate. It's not a big deal. It's really not. I hope that me coming out will lead to someone else much higher profile coming out. What do you hope those guys who are gay in the NFL and they see your story, what do you hope they take away from it? Coming out's not the end of the world. It'll be okay. I'm having a great time. I, I love life now. I absolutely love life now.